Hey, Shalom so to the elect <clears throat> of the nation of Israel. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Salutations unto the 144,000 doing the work of the Lord in all truth, honor, and sincerity. Shalom to the one third men, women, and children who believe in this word being taught unto them. It's your brother Amna wa Allah. Back at you with another lesson entitled And He Spake as a Dragon. Alright, because um, as the time goes by, as we you know continue, as we go forward in prophecy, okay, um, the measures of Esau, Edom, Edom are only gonna get more draconian, man. And of course, he's gonna have certain events. Oh, there's a there's an eye in the sky right now, they're looking for someone. All right, we, we heard about Kyle Clifford, you know, the crossbow dude who murdered those three women. All right, now we've got another eye in the sky today. So anyways, the point is Esau Edom is going to use these chaotic events to justify bringing in uh, his draconian measures. All right, that's why, you know, you've got the scripture, Sirach 5 and 15, be not ignorant of any matter, whether it be small or big. All right, we have to uh, uh, pay attention to everything, man, because everything, all roads lead to... The new world order and the MOTB. All right, so Esau is going to have these little things happening, whether they're staged or just capitalizing on, on particular events like Kyle Clifford. You know that whole crossbow thing. That's gonna. That's now going to justify a higher, um, more intense police presence out here with more. Oh gosh, there's traffic here apparently. With more. Um, oh, fuck's sake, man. See, this is just one thing about this society, man. It's just like, <laughs> hey, what does it say in Jeremiah, man? It says, has wisdom perished from teeming? You know, it, it always amazes me how they always decide to do road works when everyone's back at work and, and you know, but but they never, they never, they never do it, you know, when, you know, uh, the school's on, on, on their half term or the summer holiday, you know, they, they wait until everyone's back at work till it's all busy and then that's when they're going to be like, oh, yeah, okay, yep, let's start this now, you know? Some bullshit, man. But anyways, that's, hey, that, you know, just more and more reasons why this devil's got to go, all right? But now you've got Keir Starmer, and speaking of the badges, there's a car behind me, his badge got taken, all right? So that's, that's something that's been uh, happening heavily in London, uh, especially the North London region, okay? Um... But again, even Esau Edom can capitalize on that now, all right, to justify bringing in these draconian measures, man. Okay, you know, you got the Labour Party in, in power now, uh, you know, and, and the, the, the colour that symbolises them is red. Now, now red, you know, that, that, that doesn't symbolise anything positive, man. But you have the people who think that, oh, yeah, things are going to change now because the Labour Party are for the people. But it's like, nah, man. You see, one thing about Esau Edom is is, is that, well, let's let, let the scripture speak, man. We'll get back to Revelation. Let's just hold this real quick. This is uh, the book of Psalms 55 and verse 21. And it reads, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. So, yeah, he can have those smooth words, man. You know, Esau Edom. He be he be um he be whispering them 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 sweet nothings in your ear, man, just buttering you up. That's hey, that's what he did to to the, to the native tribes, man. You know the, the Gadites. You know he he came with them smooth words, man, them smooth speeches. You know, we come in peace and all of that shit. And he damn near slaughtered nearly all of them, man. This is the devil that we're dealing with, okay? His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords which is why when you go to the book of uh ecclesiasticus chapter 12 and 10 what does it say it says never trust thine enemy who, who now now all the other nations are our enemies but our main enemy is the so-called white man esau edom it says never trust thine enemy for like as iron rusteth so is his wickedness so eventually his wickedness is going to show forth man no matter how hey man and 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 and, and look when when they appear to to want to help you, that's that's when you really got to run for the hills, man. All right, you know. Look, let's read verse eleven. All right, it says, "Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him." Okay, um, 
and thou shalt be unto him as if thou had wiped a looking glass and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away all right so he's still the same old wicked devil that he was two thousand years ago all right you know uh, and then you, you know when cain had that mark put on him all right that that mark of of, of you know that, he, that 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 you know gave him that separation and that mark was uh you know the, the lack of pigment in the skin which is why you know, when you look at the Edomites, they, they show forth as red because the blood shows forth through their skin, which the Bible calls that leprosy, by the way. OK. And then they'll have you think they'll have you believe that um, they'll have you believe that, that our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, they'll have you believe that he's a so-called white man. Ain't no way, Yahweh Shai, the, 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 the only begotten son of the most high, Yahweh man, the second most powerful spirit. Uh, uh, in, in the whole entire universe It's coming down With a fucking disease man You, th you think your Howard Shire Is coming down With leprosy man Come on man Be real man That's some That's 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 some bullshit man Your Howard Shire Ain't coming down With no leprosy Okay <sniffs> oh, But hey what, what is it What does it say In the book of Job uh, um, Chapter 13 And verse 4 man It says uh, For ye are forgers Of lies you are physicians of no value, man. So these devils are, 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 are ain't nothing but, but liars, man. <clears throat> All right, and the whole world is waking up to that fact. Um, it's a quick one. Sirach fourteen, uh, and let's start at five. It says, um, "He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good?" This damn devil is evil to himself, man. All right. They're, these devils don't even look after themselves, bro. But, but you somehow expect them to look after you, man. You, you, you niggas are just bugged out, man. All right? It says, He shall not take pleasure in his goods. There is none worse than he that envieth himself. And this is a recompense of his wickedness. All right? So this is his reward for his wickedness, man. He, he, he hates himself, man. And they hate the way they look. That's why these Edomites, they be spending all that time going on, on, under the sunbed. Risking skin cancer just to look like Jake, because they know that that we have that royal look, man. To to have to have melanated skin, you know. Because even even Yahweh and 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 his only begotten son Yahweh Shai, you know, they they they're dark. They're very dark, dark skin. Uh, 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 you know, masculine men, man. They ain't no no leprous dudes, okay. Um, verse seven, and if he doeth good. He do it for unwillingly. All right, so, oh, man, that good old devil. Oh, man, he's just a changed man. He's so good. You know, no, man, if he do it for good, and I see 144 is my average MPG right now. And if he do it for good, he do it for, uh, well, 14.4. Um, but, you know, 144. And if he do it for good, he do it for unwillingly. This devil don't want to do no good to you, man. Okay? And at the last, he will declare his wickedness. And this is what these people don't learn about these devils, man. Is that at the last, he will always declare his wickedness, man. And there's a bus 444 right here. You know, that's mercy, man. All right. And we need the mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai to save us from this fucking cracker, man. All right. Because if, if, if Yahweh Shai don't return to deliver his elect, this devil will destroy everyone, including him damn self, man. As That's why it says here in... Oh wow In Sirach 14 and 6 He that is evil to himself To whom will he be good man Come on man let, 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 let's, let's be real Just bear with me a second Let's hold, um, what did I want? Back to Revelation. Um, this is Revelation 13 and verse 11, and it reads, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. Now, who is this beast? This beast is, uh, 
the ancient Roman Empire revived, man. Which is which is you know today we're in the the modern Roman Empire, you know, and this is this is that um, another beast, man. The first beast being the ancient Roman Empire, okay. Um, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, okay. So those two horns as a lamb represents you know the two political you know the bipartisan political party, you know you got the um, you know in the ancient world you had the patricians and the plebeians. Today you got the the Democrats and the Republicans, okay, and um, you know just a, a little thing to to prove that um, these are uh, this is ancient Rome revived. All right, if you go to this website tomorrow's world, I can leave Lord willing, I leave the link in the description, right? You know they had the the, the Treaty of Rome all right, in 1957. All right, and this is what it says here. It says Belgian Belgian political. So, so like a Belgian politician Paul Henry Spark, so Spark um, Was one of the founding fathers Of the modern effort to unite Europe You know through the NATO and the EU Okay Commenting on how it felt to sign The Treaty of Rome in 1957 He observed We felt like Romans On that day Because they are the Romans man That's, that's the kicker They are the Romans that's why they felt like the Romans on that day when they signed that treaty in 1957. All right. It says we were conscious. Listen to this, man. We were consciously recreating the Roman Empire once more. These scriptures are heavy, man. Come on, man. Look, seek ye out the book of the Lord and read. And none of these shall fail. None shall want her mate, man. You ain't getting the truth out of the fucking Quran, man. The book of the Talmud, the Egypt, the ancient Egypt, book of the dead. They ain't, no, they ain't got no fucking truth in it, man. The truth is here in, in within the Holy Scriptures, man. The Holy Bible, man. This is where the truth is at. Come on, man. Come on, dog. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, Salak, I just got a bit excited, man. Verse 12. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him and causeth the earth. Oh, oh, and Salak, and he spake as a dragon, man. Alright, you know, because they're coming, they're gonna, they're gonna be coming with these draconian measures, man, which they already are now, man. I mean, look, man, here, here in the UK, man. You, you, you can't even you can't even uh, uh, make certain turns anymore, man. Here it is. You grew up in the place all your life. You can always take that left, free of charge. No reason for you not to be able to take that left. Now all of a sudden, you take that left, and that's eighty pounds, man. Imagine that to turn left, it costs you eighty pounds. All right, and then now, you know they, they're talking about all oh, the ULEs and you know these other measures. You know you, you get charged a, a certain rate if. Your car emits a certain amount of emissions, right? You, you know, you can't drive in a city without paying that rate, okay? And they're saying, it, oh, it, it, it's an aims to, to help reduce with the traffic and that. But then, hold on a minute. But 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 now you've done locked off all the roads, right? You know, you have rush hour and people can't use those those uh, back roads that they used to be able to use to enable, to, to enable them to avoid traffic. Now now everyone's bunged up onto the main roads, right? And, 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 and it's causing a, a lot of traffic, man. So, so what are you talking about? Esau Edom just coming with them draconian measures, man. And it's only going to get worse when that sea hip is made mandatory, man. All right, so this is Isaiah 10 and 1. It says, woe unto them, which woe is destruction, right? It says, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, man. But this is nothing but unrighteous decrees, man. All because Esau Edom has some sort of God complex, all right? And that right grievousness, which they have prescribed, man. They're the ones that are prescribing all this grievousness. Everyone in, in the damn town, man, is annoyed and fed up with this shit. But it, it's because of Esau Eden uh, prescribing this grievousness, man. Okay? <laughs> to turn aside the needy from judgment. And who's the needy, man? We're, we're the needy, the Israelites, man. We're the poor. Okay? We, uh, uh, we're, there, there ain't no righteous judgment that proceeds, man. Read Isaiah 59, I think around about the 15th verse, talks about how truth faileth, man, and no righteous judgment goeth forth. Okay? And to take away 
the right from the poor all right again the israelites you know we ain't got no might in our hands no rights no nothing man all right um of my people that widows may be their prey and they may rob the fatherless man all right we're we're lost people man with no direction you know we don't even we don't even have our people uh, don't even know the name of their, their, their true heavenly father man all right we're calling on, on yahweh yah jah all of this crap jehovah you know and esau edom they capitalize on that man so that goes to show you that that them them edomites so-called white man that they, they truly are indeed uh uh, uh, uh the, the the devil that the bible speaks of let's read verse three real quick we'll go back to revelation uh, and what will you do in the day of your visitation right so when the lord comes to visit you esau well what the hell are you gonna do man you ain't got no excuse you know you're gonna have to pay for your sins man but you're gonna be in that same spirit as your forefather cain in which he said um how his judgment was greater than he can bear well, you're gonna have to fucking bear it man okay maybe you should have thought about that before before you, you went about your wickedness man but it was all the will of the lord anyway so nothing you could have really done all right and what will ye do in the day of your visitation and in the desolation which shall come from far to whom will ye flee to to whom will ye flee for help and where will you leave your glory because guess what these other nations ain't going to be helping you out in your time and your trouble man because because these other nations they're going to be shooting their look at this bitch man <laughs> stupid and then you say sorry you stupid bitch sorry man it's just dry hey look man driving in it's just man it piss you off man it ain't what it used to be but anyways man these other nations ain't gonna help you right because they're going to be shooting their missiles, their missiles against you, bruh. You know, you know, Esau's going to be like, like, like that Jake in the Tesla, man. Esau going to be all like, help me. And, and them other nations going to be like, I can't, bruh. Why they, they push that button, man. And them nukes are, are, are coming straight for Babylon the Great. All right. So let's hold, um, let's go back to Revelation 13. And 12 and he exercises all the power of the first beast before him because yeah he coming in that same stead man as the ancient roman empire he coming in that same stead okay and um and causeth the earth and them that dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed yeah because as i said they're coming in that same stead man the ancient roman empire revived man okay which we which we see as Babylon the Great, but we just read that when they signed the Treaty of Rome in 1957, they felt like the Romans, cause you are the Romans, you dummy. You know. <laughs> uh, verse 13, and he doeth great wonders, right? Esau, Edom, he be performing the miracles, boy. Esau be performing the miracles, boy. You know. He performing the miracles, boy. I, you know, Esau, um, I think this person's guy left. <clears throat> yeah, man, you know, uh, uh, by means of his technology, here it is, man, you, you, you might, you might lose your arm, you know, you, you had a dude in America, right, he, he, he was, um, he used to, he, he maintained those, um, you know, the, the escalators, right, and his arm got caught, and, and his arm got taken, man, his arm left the chat. And, and, and Esau Eden was able to replace his arm with a bionic arm Which, you know, we, we have electric currents within our own bodies, okay So Esau Eden was able to have it to where the, electric imp the electrical impulses from the brain uh, That bionic arm would read it And he was basically able to use that bionic arm like, like, like a regular arm So just by, by, by thought, you know, he could move his fingers and grab things and do all of that man which goes to show, first of all goes to show you just how amazing the the, the, the structural design of the body is you know all right and but then look man you got, you got esau who's trying to merge man with machine which is wicked all right esau trying to merge man with machine and 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 and, 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 and you know that's likened onto a miracle man this guy thought he was gonna have one arm for the rest of his life, but now Esau Edom came with his miracles, and and, and 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 you know now he got the bionic arm that he can use like a regular arm. All right. So um, 
And then another one Well let's read what it says here In Revelation 13 Just Give me a second At Revelation 13 and 13 And he doeth great wonders So that he make a fire uh, Come down from heaven On the earth in the sight of men So you have those two cities in What was it in Japan Hiroshima and Nagasaki In which uh, what, in 1942 He saw Edom He he he, uh, he dropped them atomic bombs on them man Alright Which you know that that's, that's the fire coming down from heaven In which prior to that they ain't never seen that happen, man. So that was that was an amazement, that was an astonishment. But guess what? They, 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 them Japs, man, they ain't forgotten about that Esau, you know. And and and, and in the time of World War Three, all right, they, they're gonna they're gonna remember that, and they, they, they you're gonna feel the the, the 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 wrath, man, that recompense. You're gonna feel it, all right. So let's read on, verse fourteen. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, yeah, the bionic arm, the the the, 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 the atomic bombs, and the, you know the the the, the improvement of, of the technology, the MOTB. The MOTB is going to be a miracle as well. Here it is. You don't need to have a house key anymore. Your car key, your wallet, your 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 your, your driver's license, because it's all on the on the on the sea hip. That's going to be another miracle. You don't need to. Have a pass to open doors anymore You simply just wave your hand and it opens like that, Those are all miracles man Okay And that's why it says And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth By the means of those miracles Which he had power to do in the sight of the beast Saying to them that dwell on the earth That they should make an image to the beast Which uh, had the wound by a sword and did live Now this image of the beast You know of course you got the ancient Roman Empire revived, but then you know, to take it a step further, this Rome, this ancient Roman Empire revived, heading into its new world order, man. That's that's what they want. This total, dra you know, draconian measures, as Alex Jones said, total control. You know, um, uh, you know, he had merging man with machine, making everyone a part of the Internet of Things. All right, this this is the image of the beast, man. This is the the, the infrastructure. Esau Edom is trying to set up man Alright Verse 15 And he had power To give life Unto the image of the beast Because this new world order Is coming to fruition But you read the book of Job 20 and 22 And it says um, When he is about to fill his belly When he's about to say Oh mission accomplished On the MOTB Then shall the most high Rain, rain his wrath upon him man Roughly paraphrasing that scripture Alright It says And he had power to give life Unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as would not uh, as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So you don't want to get down with this new world order, then you're you're gonna be killed, man. You know the Esau Edom's thing is don't complain, comply. All right, that's 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 what Esau Edom is all about, man. Okay, sixteen, and he causeth all. Both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond To receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads Alright, the Neuralink, the C-Hip We're seeing that take place, man how, how can we have this technology out here And guys are still out debating what the MOTB is All talking about it, sin and all of this crap, man Come on, bro Come on, bruh You air not knowing the scriptures, man Okay Um... To receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads And that no man might buy or sell Save he that had the mark Or the name of the beast Or the number of his name And this is where we're heading up to In biblical prophecy man Okay This this is this is all road lead to the MOTB Alright so the more chaotic It gets out here The more Esau Edom is justified In bringing them dr draconian measures man Okay and, and you know what, what do the elites go by They go by the saying Or by the phrase You know Order out of chaos And the funny thing is They're the ones that bring the chaos But then guess what They spin the block And they And, 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 and then they bring the order as well You know And, and they do that So that things can go um, um, In their stead You know The way So that they can execute their plans That's why they they don't, not only do they bring the solution, 
right? Imagine that. Imagine that. Not only do they bring the solution, but they also bring the problem. You know? Oh man, Esau, man. Who is like unto Esau? You know, he's so talented, man. A man can bring the problem, alright? But it's alright though, because 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 he got the solution as well, man. You know? <laughs> oh man. So yeah, man, that's that's pretty much it from me. You know, and he spake as a dragon, man. These draconian measures are only gonna keep increasing, man. As, as, as it gets more chaotic out here, they're gonna be further and further justified in bringing these draconian measures, man. And trust you me, they're gonna bring it, man. Okay, they're gonna bring it, man. You know, again, people think that oh yeah, Labour Party, uh, Keir Starmer, you know, there's in power now. Things are gonna change. No, things are gonna change for the worst, buddy. All right, they're all birds of the same feathers anyway, and 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 they, they you know they all take orders from their handlers, and they they you know their handlers are the same, man. The the wicked elite, uh, thirteen banking families, man. That's who they take their orders from. So it doesn't really matter. You you can put a child in 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 the in the White House or in in in, in Parliament, all right, and and it's not the the child's policies that are gonna go forth, but rather the wicked elite's policies that's gonna go forth. So they're all birds of the same feathers, man. Alright, so anyways man, I'm going to leave it there You know, I pray Lord willing uh, This lesson has been edifying And until the next time, I say Shalom